There are two big concerns with the pandemic. One, not getting sick. The second one, not getting beaten up. Every day you hear people arguing about the numbers. How many are sick? What's it like this fall as opposed to last spring? And why is there such a debate about this? Why isn't it just one stat, set of stats out there? Well, Ryan Ingrund is a biostatistician. And he's here to answer that because you have the answers as to why, say they say there were 700 last spring and there's 700 now, but that's not exactly right, is it? It's not exactly right in that 700 now is 700 with the current like, testing capacity with the individuals that we're actually testing now. We weren't testing those same people back in March and April. And there's still not enough testing, but that's a medical aspect. But how does that skew the statistics? It certainly skews um, stats because there are some people now that are waiting six or seven days for an actual test, and they're almost deeming it like meaningless. Why actually get a test if by the time I find out that, that I'm actually positive, it's not gonna help anyone at that point. So what's to be done with all these different facts and stats out there? Why are, is there not just a clear set of stats? Every day, here's what it is, or every week, here's what it is. There is a clear set of stats, but I don't think that that's what the media is actually putting out there. We are seeing like, case numbers all the time, and that's all that we're getting. 500 cases, 600 cases, 700 cases, and that's why we like, compare these cases to back in March and April. So what should we be getting? What we should be looking at is some values like the RT. The RT is the effective reproductive value. It's how many cases each and every primary case causes. That's a really, really useful tool. And do the people who give the media these figures, do they have those figures? Do the, the politicians have them? They have those figures. They don't release those figures publicly. Why? I'm not too sure. Really? So other biostatisticians aren't out there saying, you guys are wrong. You, Mr. Mayor, you, Mr. Premier, you should be saying this. But you are. Right. So what should they be doing then? Just so it's clear because they watch. Yeah, so the stats which have to come out is the actual growth rate, that's one, and also the positivity rate as well. Those stats need to be released because the, the public needs to understand what are the numbers in, in an actual context, not 500, 600, 700. So once the politicians put out those numbers and you're saying that they have them because the governments have biostatisticians, it's a hard word, um, <laughs> that they will have more clarity in the public debate. And I think so. I think that's um, a, the good thing to see is that if we have these numbers in an actual context, then we can let individuals know, here's what needs to be done, and here's the actual numbers behind what needs to be done. There's the answer. Ryan, thank you very, very much for providing it. Great to see you. Three minutes. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Parliament's coming back. A lot of big public issues coming up, and we're going to be covering them all here. So please, subscribe to the show. There's a button right up here on your screen.